What's up guys, good evening, this is uh, your PWB Gamer 217 once again Thank you for joining uh, my premiere video on a Friday night um, This video is still about Mass Effect Legendary Edition Part 1 And tonight I will be showing you the ending of the Vermeer mission This is the continuation of the video uh, I premiered well, it. Radio Joker is telling me to on the AA tower. All right, so yes, Commander, I it's the right choice, and you know we're about to clear the enemies, or we've all already cleared the enemies. This so part is where the this, I this, had to make this a choice. I'm gonna understand. have to make a choice between Ashley or Caden, and as you can see, I cho I chose Ashley. Uh. If you want to know why I chose Ashley, uh, put it, uh, ask me in the comment section or in the live chat and I will answer you eventually and I will answer you uh, in my next video so that uh, we'll have something to talk about uh, on my next video regarding my choice. So I'm not gonna tell you about why I chose Ashley over Caden, alright? At first, honestly I was... Uh, thinking of teasing Caden but I don't know what happened well, well I did know or I knew what happened because I made that choice there as to the reason as to the rationality of the choice of my choice I will tell you about it if you want to know just ask in the comment section or in the live chat and then I will happily answer the question why Alright, at this point, we are already fighting, or we are about to fight Saren. Uh, I would say he's the, the right hand of the big boss. So this is a boss fight, but this is not the final boss fight, alright? Excuse me, for that. So anyway, um... As with any, uh, I would say, movie scenes with the final confrontation, there will be a lot of conversations between the protagonist and the antagonist. So this is what is happening right now. So they, keep, they, they converse for a bit, they exchange stuff, statements, and basically it boils down to the fact that Saren is not the one behind um, the machinations or the the plots or the operations. He is also just that Saren, by the way, that alien. Um, he is he is just a tool of the big boss. <coughs> I'm not sure though if I was able to video that the final fight. Um, uh, the protagonist and the final boss. I'm gonna have to check uh, uh, if ever I did not I will make sure that on my second playthrough of the part one of, of Mass Effect part one I will make sure that I will video record that or I will record, I will record that fight scene. So anyway as I was saying um, if you listen to their conversation Hopefully my voice is not interfering with your listening to their conversation. It appears to be, as I said, uh, Saren is only just a tool, it's only just a part of the operation of the big boss. And he was just convinced, I would say, quote unquote convinced, by the big boss to do uh, big boss, the big boss's bidding, alright? Okay, so yeah, it's gonna. It's taking a long time <laughs> for them to fight. They have a lot of things to say to, to each other. <coughs> Excuse me for that. You know, meanwhile, I'm gonna have to take a drink or take a sip. A sip you know, take a sip of my brandy as we wait for their confrontation. Manipulating you and you don't even know it. So there you have it. If you can read the 
close captions. No, sovereign needs me. Sovereign, they kept on mentioning Sovereign. No. So Sovereign is the name of the big boss. And why it is named that, I do not know the reason, but the nature of the big boss, you would know. Um, eventually if one if you wait for the video for that particular video for that particular final boss fight for me to post that or to upload that video of the uh, final boss fight or if you're going to play the game definitely you will eventually uh, face sovereign because that will end uh, this game or the, the first part of the trilogy okay so yeah you As you can see, I, um, you were sworn to defend the conversations then you take a large role in, of, uh, in, in, in this game because you, have, you are given options on how to respond to conversations. Definitely, you, can in, you will definitely initiate a lot of conversations in this game. You will have to talk about, yeah, you will have to talk to uh, significant characters or significant NPCs as, as gamers call it. NPC mean, means uh, non-playable character, so as long as you're not controlling that character in some form or manner, uh, that character is an NPC, alright? So you, you're going to have to talk to a lot of NPCs here in this game. And as a matter of fact, in most RPGs, if not all RPGs, you're going to have to converse with a lot of NPCs. And those conversations entail a lot of choices. And there are, uh, most, of the, most often than not, RPGs are embedded with uh, choices. All right. uh, this is actually uh, um, one of the good things about RPGs is that you are given at least at the very least the illusion of choice and you will be able to come across or, en or encounter the effects of that choice okay so what happened earlier uh, uh, during the start of this video uh, I chose Ashley, right? So they had their own roles to to do, and at some point I had to choose who will I save. So I chose Ashley, and that choice uh, will have effects in in the um, succeeding playthroughs, or at least the succeeding um, missions that I uh, will play <coughs> Excuse me. so so basically the choice uh, that I made is that uh, the effect well the immediate excuse me again the immediate effect of that choice is Kaden died alright everybody hang on all right. he's one of the characters that you can uh, he's one of your teammates actually that you can uh, put or you can include in your squad every time you uh, perform or you do a mission so you have to choose and actually it's also the same you can she is also a uh, part of your team so I chose Ashley and this is the scene where we are back on the ship and we were talking about what happened so that's me trying to justify my choice and yeah. so since they are hum they are humans uh, they, they belong to the human race uh, well basically any any race in this game has uh, ranking in, in their uh, military um, military aspect no? so Ashley is is a Ashley's rank is uh, chief gunner, gunnery chief, right? And Kaden is a lieutenant, so definitely Kaden outranks Ashley. So Ashley is, is more of a field soldier, while Kaden, well, he can also be a field soldier, but he has higher rank than Ashley. Uh, 
I did not take that into consideration when I made my choice. But again, if you want to know why I made my choice, why I did what I did, and or why I, why I chose what I choose, or what I or whether you know why I did choose uh, one from the other, you're gonna have to. Uh, Put it in the live chat. Ask your questions in the live chat or in the comment se section, and I will be answering them uh, in my next video uh, on Mass Effect. So again, the Veermeyer is a planet, um, and Siren, the one of the antagonists. Has a base of operations there. That is why, um, well, the, the the mission included um, destroying the base of operations of Saturn by detonating a nu nuclear bomb, and that's what Caden did. He activated the nuclear bomb. He stayed with it. He protected it so that the guests will not be able to stop the detonation. <coughs> now what if I chose Kaden over Ashley? Ashley had a different role from Kaden. So Kaden, Kaden's role is to guard and activate the bomb, while Ashley ha um, had to uh, assist the other the, the uh, attacking force, the main attacking force of another um, of, of Captain Kiran. If I'm not mistaken about his name. The so, That's where if I chose Kaden and uh, saved him, uh, what would happen is, spoiler alert, uh, Ashley would die from the insurmountable or the numerous attacks or the numerous numbers of the, the or the overwhelming numbers rather of the uh, enemies of the enemy rather. So, but. Those roles can also be um, chosen from the very beginning of the mission. That means you can either choose Kaden to go with the captain and then have Ashley uh, set up the nukes. Right. But um, it, to me, regarding that choice, that uh, first particular choice, or option, or whatever have you, but to me, it was only logical for me to choose Kaden to set up the um, the nuke and then have Ashley to assist the captain. Why? Now this part I can tell you why. This is because Ashley is a uh, frontline soldier. So since um, the captain and his troops will be attacking at the front lines, it would only make sense for me to send Ashley to assist the captain. While Kaden, since he's a lieutenant and he is also a uh, tech expert and a biotic, biotic, not biot, but biotic, um, it's only the logical option for him to set up the unit. But it doesn't matter, right? it doesn't really matter who, who does what. What matters is who you choose in the end. Alright. Excuse me. So I guess that's about it. Uh, right now we're talking to the council about reporting what happened to Jeremiah. And I'm gonna have to wrap this up because I only have less than a minute remaining. With that, I want humbly request you guys to don't forget to subscribe, like. Share this video. Tell, tell it about. Tell it to your friends. And um, have a good night. And stay safe. And God bless. Once again, I want to thank you. And this has been the PWD Gamer Two One Seven signing off. Thanks, guys.